we continue the second video of control accounts. Uh, we pick it up where we left in the first video on discounts. There are two types of discounts. Trade discounts which are given to customers because of the either the relationship you've built over time with the customer or because you are buying in bulk. <coughs> so as an, as, an, as an inducement to encourage you to continue buying. There's also a settlement discount which is conditional on you paying your invoices within the stipulated period of time uh, or your customer paying you within the stipulated period of time. For example, you may state on your invoice that if you pay within 14 days you get a 5% discount of the invoice value. There are two types of discounts. Um, there will be discounts allowed. These are offered by the business to their customers. And discounts received. These are received by business from their suppliers. The discounts the accounting treatments for discounts allowed is that the sales are recorded net of trade discount but inclusive of the settlement discount. So you should never show in the financial statements the trade discounts. Always record yourselves net of trade discounts. The settlement discounts, on the other hand, since they are only allowed after a customer has met the conditions, they will be shown as an expense in the income statement when taken by the customer. So the entry for the settlement discount will be to debit the discount allowed in the income statement and credit the receivable ledger control account in the statement of financial position. Let's look at an example. In this example question we have a company which on 1st January made a credit sale for 12,000. A trade discount of 2,000 was available with a further 10% settlement discount if payments were made within 10 days. We are required to record the initial sale so when we net off the trade discount of 2000 we remain with net sales of 10000 The initial entry will be to record the 10,000. So the receivables will be debited with 10,000 and the sales account to be credited with 10,000. That will be the, our initial entry.
Next, we are told on 4th January X7, the customer pays for the goods, taking advantage of the settlement discount. The discount, which was 10% on sales, our sales that we've recorded, we've recorded 10,000. So 10% 10 or 10,000 will give us 1,000. So we're required to record this full settlement. So we now open a discount allowed account in the bank account since the cash has come in. So we've received 9,000, which is less than 1% discount allowed. So we can now close the receivable ledger accounts by crediting 9,000 from the bank <coughs> in the receivable ledger contract account of 1,000, <coughs> which is also reflected in a discount allowed account. Now, suppose this settlement discount was not taken. What would our entry be? In this case, we would not open a discount allowed um, account and would show the full 10,000 that's having been received and the full 10,000 being settled in the receivable ledger control account. We look at the opposite of a discount allowed, which is a discount received. In this case, it's you who has bought and it's you who is receiving the discount. The same way you are not able, you are not allowed to record the trade discount equally, When you purchase, you, your entry rules will be similar. You record the purchase net of trade discount, but inclusive of the settlement discount. Then the, if you comply with the conditions of the settlement discount, you pay within the stipulated period of time, then you're going to open a discount received account, which would be an income account in the income statement, which would be offset with a debit or reduce your trade payables on the payable ledger contract account to show that you are paying less than what you should have initially paid. Let's have a look at another example. Ryan Co. purchases goods with 5,000 from Austin Co. Ryan Co. will receive a 5% settlement discount if the goods are paid for within seven days. Ryan Co. has every intention of taking advantage of the settlement discount. We are required to show the initial recording of the purchase. You are also required to record the payment for the goods assuming Ryan Co. pays within seven days. Finally, you are required to record the payment for the goods if payment is made after seven days. Basically, it's similar to what we have looked at, just to amplify uh, <coughs> the 
issue on discounts. In this question, there's no trade discount, there's just a settlement discount. So the 5,000 will be recorded in full in the purchase just ledger control account, in the, in the purchases account, and in the purchase ledger control account. So the purchase ledger control account will be debited, purchases will be, the purchase ledger control account will be credited, or the purchases will be debited with 5,000. If Renko complies within the stipulated days, then a discount of 5%, 5% of 5,000 will give us 250. So, Five thousand minus two fifty is what will be recorded in the purchase ledger control account as having been received or having been paid rather. Then the discount received of two fifty will be credited to the discount received account and debited in the purchase ledger control account. If the discount is not taken, then the whole 5,000 will come out from the purchase ledger control account. And the bank payment of 5,000 will be recorded. So this concludes the discount received and discount allowed. We now move to sales tax and discounts. Sales tax is calculated on the amount after all discount, regardless of whether the discount is taken or not. Meaning Whereas the settlement discount was only recognized after it was taken, this time around you do not wait for the settlement discount to be taken, but you do not include it when you are computing the sales tax on the either of the purchases or on the, on the sales. We have another example here for brick coal. Uh, brick buys goods with a list price of 50,000 from cement. Brick receives a trade discount of 12% from cement and a further discount of 4% if payment is made within 10 days. Sales tax is at 15%. Um, so what amount should brick show in cements pay was leisure with regards to record this purchase? <coughs> So there are two discounts, there's a 12% discount. So the 12% discount the 12% discount will be taken first. So 12 percent of 50,000 gives us 6,000 so you subtract this 6,000 from the 50,000 you get 44,000 then you apply the settlement discount on the 44,000 uh, 
four percent of forty four thousand gives us the one thousand seven sixty. Net of that to give you forty two thousand two forty. So the sales tax will be based on the forty two to forty. So forty two to forty, then the sales tax of fifteen percent gives you the thirty three six thousand. 333 so your invoice amount will be 50,000 we move on to Control account reconciliations. This continues in the third and last video.